what is going on guys it's handicap here and i'm bringing you a uh, weird and wacky well not really weird and wacky but a beast of a gameplay um i raped the kill feed a few times you guys will see that and as you can see from my clan tag i did this during my uh sniperator bl4 montage challenge uh me and jay brooks were just bored we were playing some uh, nuketown 24 7 and yeah i i got a pretty one hell of a good gameplay out of it now thing I wanted to talk to you guys today about honestly is pub stomping and competitive play and just I don't know when when would you give up it's it's hard to explain what I mean by that you I'll explain it later basically everybody that you basically see on YouTube all the big name youtubers you know that post up ridiculous kills like 110 and 3 or 100 and some odd and like 5 you know what yes it looks awesome on you know on their video but none of those guys ever, you know, they're not in any kind of a competitive atmosphere. It's just pub stomping. Pub stomping in general is not, okay, it's not always easy. Most of the time, it's pretty much, it is pretty easy regardless most of the time. Uh, so don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I could go out and probably put up ridiculously high numbers with chopper gunner dogs. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Chopper gunner dogs. You know, and just kill whore and not play objectives or play demo and just kill whore to get my KD up. Now, I've been called a tryhard many times for odd reasons I don't understand because I use a shotgun, so I don't see how that's being a tryhard, but uh, I do get called a tryhard. Anyways, basically, why do you play this game? It's the big question I want to know. Like, as you play, okay, not why, but when you're playing. Do you care about your KD, or do you care about just getting that win? Because that's what I, you know, I'd like, I, when I say, when I think of the word try hard, I think of someone who will do anything and everything just to win. They don't care about how many times they die. They don't care about any of that crap. It's just basically how, if you can win, basically, it's just winning. Do what it takes to win. If you have to dive three times, four times on the same flag just to get it, you'll do what it takes just to win the game. And so you know what? Yeah, if you're gonna call me a tryhard, that's fine. Call me a tryhard, I guess, because you know what? That's what I that's what I do. I I don't go and go into demo. I don't go into uh, ground war games and put on you know chopper gunner and dogs consistently just to keep up a high KD ratio. Because oh, watch this. Oh, sit down. Oh, my God. Um, I'm not naming anybody, but I know a few of the bigger name YouTubers. A few of the bigger YouTubers that, yeah, if you look at their combat record, you know what? They they can post up a consistent, usually a consistent high KD. You know, they have a three or three, between three and four KD on their combat record. But then, you know what? You can go and look at their win-loss ratio, and it's, it's, absolute rubbish it's trash it's like under a one so I just I don't know to me I would prefer winning over keeping a high KD I mean I got a two point I think it's a 2.05 I don't even know it's been dropping like crazy cuz I just don't care at all anymore and I just dick around every game I play so I mean you know still a rel it's real relatively good a two considering is pretty decent I think uh, I mean like like you guys know after hitting 14th prestige pretty much 90% of the games I play I use a shotgun or I use a, a, a ridiculous setup that you guys pick for me or I just put on even more ridiculous setups that you guys don't even pick for me like C4 only uh, or I do a lot of tomahawk only just for fun so you know what like that's what I mean by I don't care about my KD um, I wish a lot more people on Call of Duty would just not care about their KD as much because they would just probably make the game a lot better. You wouldn't see so many people camping to get that high kill streak. You know, they're one kill away or they're three kills away from getting uh, Chopper Gunner. And oh, let's go camp and head camp somewhere, you know, just to get those three kills. I don't know. Ugh, that's all I can say is I don't know. I don't know what gets into people's heads. I can't get in the same mentality as those people because I just. I just can't. That's all there is to it. I just can't do it. Uh, I used to be like that on COD, uh, not COD 2, Modern Warfare 2. 
Uh, don't get me wrong, in Modern Warfare 2, I played the crap out of Demolition. Um, I used to run, not all the time, but a lot of times I'd run high, 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 high KD setups. Like, I'd run, you know, Harrier, Pavlo, Chopper Gunner, Harrier, Pavlo, AC-130. You know, the classic nuke setup, the Harrier, Chopper Gunner, nuke, just for fun. And trust me, I, if I had my PVR back when I played Modern Warfare 2, God, the things I could have put up on my channel. I mean, I remember multi-games in a row where I got over three nukes, well, either three or four nukes in a game. You know, I'd have three or four nukes saved up just to call in at the last second. We'd just milk it and milk it and milk it for all it's worth. And, you know, that, that gets boring after a while. It really does. And I'm very, very glad that I switched my train of thought. Because, you know what? Um, being a KD whore... I don't know. It, it's it's got its ups, I guess, but it's also got its downs. I think if you have a really bad game, you're gonna you get a little bit more pissed off because you're obviously caring so much about your kill death that it basically is your motivating factor in playing the game. It really is. And you know what? I'm glad that I met the people I met mid mid to end of Modern Warfare 2. You know, the Jimmy, the Jay Brooks, the uh, the Ernest Lee, Steve Schwinn. I'm glad I met those guys because because of them, I pretty much changed the whole way I think about this game, and uh, I'm glad for that. Very glad. <clears throat> uh, you guys better watch this kill feed right here. It's friggin' ridiculous. My dogs, yeah, my dogs go on an absolute tear. Like, pff, that's all I can say. Is just, pff. um, I pretty much like I said, I raped the kill feed. Watch, just watch the kill feed as you listen to me. So, but yeah, that's that's it. Like, <clears throat> I care more about you know my win my win loss ratio than I would about my KD any day of the week. So I don't know. What what do you guys care to say back to that? I mean, do you guys care more about your KD, or do you care more just about winning the game, regardless of how? Here's the rape right here. Look at this. Five. I think it's like eight in a row. I get at one point. It's, re it's ridiculous. But uh, and the other thing I wanted to mention too is. If you, if you legitimately played this game a lot, like you put in a solid, a solid, solid amount of time into this game, I don't know, I'm just going to say a rough guess, like 40 days, if you had 40 days put into Black Ops right now, um, I'm sorry, but that sucks, I don't think I can play Black Ops that much, I don't think I can play any game, any Call of Duty game for 40 days played. I think the highest I had was Modern Warfare 2, which was, I think, 26 days, and trust me, I took long breaks in between. But what if, if you were that type of a person, you know, would you just give up on Call of Duty if you played 40 or more days on Black Ops, and you still had a really terrible, you know, really terrible win-loss and a really, really terrible KD, would you still play it? I legitimately know I wouldn't. If I knew I was that bad at the game, I don't think I could keep playing it. But that's my time, guys. Uh, I didn't. That was quick, actually. That was really quick. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, drop a like if you guys did. You know, it does help me out tons. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash handicap. Just like on YouTube. So, peace out. Love you guys.